Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Today I get to share with you a project for Spellbinders using the Small Die of the Month Club Kit for this month for September 2019. This here is the kit and it's called Ikaboo. Perfect for your Halloween themed projects. Um, it has a lot of images that you can build and create um, little costumes on little people like a little devil a little skeleton the little um ghost there super cute you get the little facial features along with the hands the legs and then you get the little boots or the little shoes you get the little pumpkin that you put the little candy in and then you get the sentiment that says eekaboo so we're going to make two cards today jumping in with card number one we're going to make a little ghost I'm going to die cut him out with some white cardstock along with a little pumpkin. Um, later on, I'm going to show you how, how I do one and then I ended up doing two more. So we have three in total. We're going to do a little bit of coloring um, and I'm just using my Copic markers. I put a piece of post-it tape behind my little pumpkin. You don't have to do this, but for me it just made it a little bit easier. And I thought it would be fun to create a little candy corn with the little uh, ghost hair. So I'm putting orange in the middle of him. I'm leaving his head portion white. And then I'm gonna cut you bring in with a yellow marker. And um, we're gonna use the same yellow to color in our pumpkin too. We want it to look like it's glowing a little bit. <laughs> but those are the only two colors we're gonna use for our ghost. So the orange and the yellow and keeping the top portion white. Now for the top piece of my pumpkin, I'm going to color it in with my brown Copic marker and also the little handles. We'll color those in with brown. Now if you wanted to use um, colored cardstock for this, you could very well. Um, I just thought this would be fun. I'm using my blending pen to kind of soften that harsh edge on the orange there. And then um, once we have this done, we're going to punch out all these little pieces. And then you can see up on top, I die cut out the word Ikaboo with black cardstock and then the little boots and the legs a few times with white cardstock. I'm going to use my tape runner to adhere the little, well I call them boots, but they're actually shoes. And um, hindsight, I think I probably should have used my glue. Um, I think it would have been a little bit stronger. I'm also going to add some little hands to him. <laughs> I'm putting them towards the bottom portion of him just to give him a little more um, whimsical look. It kind of reminded me of a little minion. <laughs> So that's my little candy corn guy. Um, to color in the eyes, I'm going to add some brown cardstock on the reverse side of my little ghost, just securing it with some glue. And then that way I have some little eyes that really pop and stand out. Now for my little um, pumpkin candy carrier here, I'm going to... This is so neat. This is the neatest thing because the little handle is in two parts. And there's a little circle at one end and the end, the other end doesn't have one. I'm actually going to add another piece of brown cardstock behind my pumpkin just um, to fill it in the eyes and the mouth. But um, this top piece goes in the very top pumpkin of the pumpkin. And then the handles. Um, you have the little brown piece. The two little brown pieces actually go um, towards the center of the pumpkin. So when you glue, you're going to put a, a dot of glue to the left and a dot of glue to the right. And then you're going to add one of the pumpkin handles and then you're going to add the other one. Remember the little round circles are going to be towards the middle um, and it's going to leave a little bit of an opening. But th what this does is when you put it in the hand of the little character that you created, it looks really truly looks like he's holding it. I thought that was so cute. Okay, we're going to add, I love using black and white stripes for my Halloween cards. So I'm going to mat a piece on um, some black cardstock and I'm going to actually pop it up with some fun foam. Um, this is adhesive backed fun foam and so this is going to give that panel a little bit of dimension. We're just going to remove the release paper here, add this to our panel, our diagonal stripe panel. And then we're going to take this and then this is going to go on our A2 size top folding card base. We're going to put it in the upper portion um, of our card base here. Just making sure it's centered. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add the sentiment. Um, the sentiment die cuts out the word eek dash a dash boo. But for this card, I just wanted to use the word boo. 
So I'm grabbing the B and the two O's and just using my glue, I'm going to secure the letters to the right underneath my diagonal stripe paper here. I think it's fun and whimsical that there's different sizes of letters, different um, uppercases and lowercases. I think this just makes it neat. And then we're gonna add our last O. And if you wanted to add the whole word eekaboo, you could do that too. <laughs> okay, now we get to add our little candy corn guys. Now, um, again, I probably would should have used glue behind the little feet um, just to make sure they secure a little bit better. So I'm gonna take my foam squares and actually put it on top of the feet too. That way it, um, they're a little more secure. I'm gonna add my pumpkins. This top one doesn't have um, a person holding it, but two of my little candy corn ghosts are holding the little candy buckets there. I'm gonna add some sparkle with my Nuvo Aqua Shimmer Pen. And then I'm gonna go over the eyes and then the faces of my little um, pumpkin buckets with my, um, my Journey Glaze. This is gonna give it a little bit of sparkle. This one was off the edge, so I had to double up on the foam tape. But this is so cute. When you look at the close-up pictures, look at the little um, pumpkin bucket that they're holding, and it looks just like they're holding it. I thought that little circle made a huge difference. But this is gonna dry clear and give me a little bit of dimension on the eyes and a little shine. And then that finishes card number one. We're gonna add some gems um, all at the same time with our last card too. Okay, for our next project, I'm gonna use some red glitter cardstock <laughs> and I'm gonna die cut out the red bodysuit of um, this little guy here and then I'm gonna die cut out the tail and the horns with black cardstock and then the arms and the face with white cardstock. Um, and then off camera, I went ahead and did another one of those little pumpkins. I thought they were so cute. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some black cardstock behind my little face and I'm going to attach it to a piece of post-it note tape. This is going to make it easier for me to color. I'm going to color in um, the face and the arms and then the hair with my Copic markers. So I found if I put it on some post it tape, it just makes it a little bit easier. I'm just using my E00 and my E11 to do a little shading on the skin portion of my guy here or girl. I ended up putting lashes um, on the face, so it could be a girl too. <laughs> this is my E11. And then for the, we're gonna add some rosy cheeks. So I'm gonna bring in my RV10, I believe. Just rosy up those little cheeks. And here's where I take my black jelly roll pen and add some lashes. We just add three little slashes on the eyes. And my camera's not zooming in, but maybe in the close-ups you can see those little lashes. For the hair, we're gonna make um, uh, an orangey brown. So we're just gonna do a little two-tone shading. I'm using my YR27 and my YR23. And I think that looks great. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my glue and we are gonna start off by adding a little glue to the, the costume head portion. And I thought, oh shoot, we gotta add the hair first. So I'm gonna add a little bit of glue behind the hair and attach that. We'll make sure you know cover up his little, her little eyes. And then we're gonna add our little costume um, headpiece. And it adds so much dimension with that little hair that's separate and then the face, there's a little dimension there. I'm gonna add that to my body. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our arms. And then also um, the legs, which could be, um, technically these are made to be socks. There's little itty bitty rectangles um, that die cut out and you can create a, like purple and black striped stockings. <laughs> but I'm using them just to secure my shoes to this little guy and I'm gonna leave them white. Okay, now we're gonna add the tail. We're gonna make a little devil. <laughs> and this tail we're gonna add um, to, towards the lower portion. And it's a little bit tricky um, adhering it because of that glitter cardstock. You have to hold it down for a little bit, but it does stick. And then we're gonna go ahead and add his little horns or her little horns. <laughs> 
gonna flip it around a little bit and then um, when I die cut out the headpiece I, I went and used um, the red glitter cardstock and for the top piece of the tail so this little orange tri or the red triangle glitter piece goes right on the end of the tail that little point and I think it looks so cute for being a little devil <laughs> okay I'm taking my black jelly roll pen again I'm going to add three little dots to the shoes just make them give a little added detail and then after we get this done we're going to work on a background I have a piece of just Nina 80 pound cardstock here. I'm going to bring in my craft mat and we're going to do a little ink blending with some oxide inks. So I have three different colors. I have a candied apple and I have spice marmalade, I believe, or dried marigold, one or the other, and then um, squeezed lemonade. Starting off with my candied apple, I'm going over the top and then I'm going to add a little bit of my spice marmalade and blending them both together and then the, I'm going to add the third color with my squeeze lemonade here. We're not going to use the entire panel. Um, well, we are going to use the entire panel, but only a portion of it's going to peek out. So here I have a three inch by five and a half inch piece of white cardstock. I'm going to use a circle die and cut out a, por a partial circle in this panel. And then I cut out some more stripe paper that we're going to mat that panel on. We're going to go ahead and adhere our diagonal stripe paper directly to our card base. We're going to do that first. And I like to offset it. If you want to put it down the center, you could, but something about offsetting it just gives me a little bit more balance, especially if my image is going to be towards the left or towards the right. Okay, after we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my uh, distressed panel to my stripe panel and then pop up my white die cut piece right over the top so it looks like a moon with a little bit of dimension <laughs> okay and my my candied apple in the very top looks kind of orangey but in real life it's it's red and uh, maybe the pictures will capture that i'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of my little devil add him to my panel i'm going to place him a little more towards the right and then we're going to add his little candy pumpkin bucket just so cute <laughs> okay and then for my sentiment again we die cut out the word eekaboo so I'm just gonna use the word eek and then the exclamation point so I'm adding a little bit of glue behind my capital E we'll add our lowercase e right next to it and we're gonna put the entire eek on the inside where our moon is Then we'll add our exclamation point. And we're gonna dot our moon and then this way we can just add that tiny itty bitty exclamation point here. And I'm trying to flip it around. Sometimes these little pieces are hard to flip around. <laughs> okay, for bells and whistles, I'm gonna do it both at the same time. I'm bringing in some crystal gems here. And I'm gonna add gems to both the little devil card and my candy corn ghost. We're just using glue to secure those down. We just wanna add a little sparkle. And then this completes both of my projects today using the small die of the month club kit for September, 2019. Now, if you guys are interested in the club kit, the club kits are $15 and that's the new current price. Um, shipping is included in that. And it's a club that will be $15 every month. They deduct it from your credit card and you get a fantastic die set delivered to your door every month. Um, links are down below if you want to check that out, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you a lovely day and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.